ご覧のスポンサーの提供でお送りします。Hey guys, Kakarot 197 again. This time with an unboxing of the Master Great Aegis Gundam from the Gundam Seed anime series. And this model kit has been provided to me by my favorite online hobby store, Hobby Link Japan. Links to buy one yourself in the description down below. And on the box art, we have a lot going on, and I absolutely Love it. It's really busy. Like, no matter where you look, you see something. In the front, we have the Aegis Gundam in a really cool action pose. Here, you have the Aegis flying. You've got a really awesome cloud formation in the back. At the bottom, you have like Orb and Onogoro Island. You have the other four, well, the other three Gundams flying around. And it's really a cover art. Like, you look at it and you find like tiny little details that you didn't notice before. So, a really cool box art for hopefully a really good model kit. So, on the side, we have the typical front and back image. Then, we also see the transformation and an interesting gimmick going on with the head, where the V fin also seems to fold down a little bit. So, that's definitely interesting to see. And one thing that I really enjoy with this Master Grade is that we're now finally getting a model kit of the Aegis that has all four beam sabers. Ugh. You can't imagine how happy I am about that. Then on the other side, we get an advertisement for the Gundam Seed HD Remaster and also the Remastered comic, which admittedly looks really amazing. Then we get the actual model kit replicating the pose on the box art, which is always something really cool. And no matter what you say about the redesign, it definitely has style. So let's open this thing up and see what's lurking inside. And the one thing I'm kind of curious about is how I'm going to like the redesign once I built it. But first, let's have a look at this here. We get quite the arsenal of stickers. We get the normal peel off stickers, and we also get the rub transfer ones. And as far as the regular stickers are concerned, it seems to be mostly、uh, sensors and whatnot. And of course, the eye stickers. We get some nice. Atheron figures as well, and some really well detailed armor pieces, which is definitely something these remastered or revived or 2.0 Gundam Seed kits have going for them. Here we have the beam effect parts. I also like how now the I don't know what to call the white piece, like the spike that's on the arms and on the feet, becomes part of the thing rather than emanating. Out of their back. So that's a really cool redesign thing.、And、then here we get a lot of parts of the beam rifle itself, some internal detailing, and then here again we get a lot of really nicely detailed parts for our Aegis Gundam. Then we get some more really nicely detailed pink parts, or as some people would call it, light red. And sandwiched in the middle, we have a bunch of poly caps. Then, next up, some more pink. So, like I was saying before, the one thing I really wonder about is how I'm going to like these new proportions because, just like with the Strike Gundam,、um, when I looked at those redesigned proportions, I wasn't really a huge fan of them. But then, once I built the model kit, I actually really started liking them. And I have the same feeling about the Aegis. Yes, it's nice and thick, but I'm not entirely sure how I feel about the thickness yet. But, like, I have a feeling that once I can feel the thickness of the Aegis and experience it in real life, then I might like it a lot better. So, let's have a look at the manual. And again, This is a really cool styled manual, and I think this kind of style is really only with these、um, newer Gundam Seed model kits. So let's have a look at what we're getting on the inside. We get some interesting detail on the Aegis,、um, a quick story guide, and some more detail on which other mobile suits also use the X300 frame. And this was before the time that they started including English translations with everything. So, if you want to learn more about the Aegis,、um, yeah, if you don't know Japanese, you're not going to get it from this manual. We do, of course, get some really cool renditions of the anime, the epic duel between the Strike and the Aegis, which to this day I still find one of the best moments of the anime 
and after that it just kind of went downhill. And here we see some interesting line art about that like VFIN transformation that I was talking about earlier. That I'm, I look forward to see how that works in the model kit. And then finally, at the end, we get the sticker guide. There's a lot of stickers, as you can see. And in the back, we just have the color guide. And again, front and back of our Aegis Gundam. So then, all that's left to do now is to go ahead and build this model kit that was provided to me by Hobbling Japan. Again, links down below to buy your own one. And as always, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope all of you watching have a great day. And then I'll see you all tomorrow with a review of this thing.